Why am I being told not to use SY where I see it in all the installs that I go to? So this is a question that's coming from James and it's a good question. And for me, it's a great showcase of what's happened to our cable industry over the years. So 17 years ago when I started Doncaster Cables, if somebody said, can I use SY for mains wiring? I'd have said, absolutely, not a problem. And now if someone asked the same question, I'd be advising them not to use it. And that's the stance that the industry has taken recently. And the main reasons for that is when SY was made all that time ago, it was made by British cable manufacturers. So the design of that was dimensionally to the same standard as a normal flex. And if we look at an SY now compared to an ordinary duty flexible, the SY is actually thinner in diameter than what an ordinary duty flex is. And years gone by, the bedding would have been the same as this flex, and you were then applying a galvanized steel over the top and then a clear sheathing over the top of that. So it's a great showcase of how price-driven imported cables has overtaken what was originally a high-spec design. I'm not aware of anybody making SY in the UK anymore, so people have to be wary that that is where the market has gone. Probably best not using it on mains wiring. But there are other alternatives to SY. So we've got HO7 RNF, which is an industrial rubber to a British European standard. And we've also got Tough Sheath, which is another alternative which we've covered in another video too. Thanks for your question.